accidentally made a whole career out of buying weird Nintendo Switch accessories, and a lot of people like to ask me, Wood, where do you find those weird things? Well, this time, Amazon, baby! These got shipped right to my door. They arrived literally two minutes ago. I've been set up and waiting for the Amazon man so that I could start making this video. The last time I made one of these videos... It's like my most viewed video? I wonder why I'm doing it again. I started watching that video to see what I did last time, and I forgot that that was the time I dunked my Switch in a bucket of water because of a waterproof case. And then half the video was me just trying to get the Switch fixed. Hopefully today goes a little smoother than that. What do we got? What did I buy? Oh, this? Let me get my knife. Let me get my Zelda knife. My accessories are so weird. Even my knife is not I've actually been trying to buy this one for a while now, but it's always unavailable or sold out. I'll leave links to everything I buy down below since I can actually do affiliate links with Amazon. Ooh, do you hear that? Oh, I'm very excited for this. You guys have no idea. What's in here? Oh, a little fakies? Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. It's kind of fun to play with. Do they also taste bad? No, they kind of do. Why? I can't wait for this. This one's honestly probably going to stick around. And by that, I mean not get donated. <laughs> All right, so you put this cover back on. And now when you spin the guy, oh, they pop up. So not only is it really fun to play with, this is a bad thing to buy someone with ADHD. Well, no, it's good. It's just I'm going to spend all my <laughs> This is my whole day now. Yeah, so when you want to grab a game, I guess you just rotate and you can see what game is popping up until you get to the one you want. And oh boy, there it is. This is one of the niftiest. This might be one of my fa- This might be my favorite. Do you see my brain calculating there for a second? This might be up there, if not number one, my favorite Switch accessory. Looks like it's a Zelda accessory too. I mean, it's hitting all the boxes for me, man. This is my last video before Christmas. And it's been an incredible year. I can't thank you all enough. This year marked 300 eShop games that I reviewed on the channel. And if you didn't watch that video, I created a really cool t-shirt. I never make t-shirts, so I wanted this to be very special. And there's only two days left to buy it. Just like with my U2's figure, once we're sold through this pre-order, we're never making it again. So the shirt has a collage of characters from my favorite eShop games. Everything from Zelda to Cuphead to Hollow Knight. And that was actually Kim that drew and designed that. And then the back, it's like a band shirt with the dates of every one of my eShop videos and where I was when I filmed them. So it's very special to me for a lot of reasons. And if you want to grab one, either for you or for somebody else, yeah, there's only two days left. So I'll leave a link down below. This video doesn't have a sponsor, so this is it. Thank you to everybody that's grabbed one so far. You have no idea how much it means to me. What's next? Oh, oh boy. Body sensory sound sand hammer. <sighs> The reason why I wanted to get them is to see if they actually made sound. And uh, I'm getting the feeling they rattle. <laughs> you gotta feel sorry for Kim, don't you? What she has to put up with on a day to day. They're quite a bit louder than I expected. I can only imagine when you're playing the actual game that this would actually make it a lot more fun and rhythmic. I don't really feel the need to play the game to test these out. I'm sure they work great. These get a 10 out of 10 for being exactly what I expected. And a little louder. So 11 out of 10. These go to 11. All right, next. Oh, I thought this was neat. A little mini GameCube that you sit your Switch on top of. And as I now get it in my hands, it actually feels pretty quality. It's weighted. Can I dock it with this? Oh my god, the satisfied grip being the ultimate Switch accessory one extra time. You got two GameCube ports, native, right here. Up until now, you had to buy Nintendo's accessory, or a third-party one, I guess. I mean, that's all well and good. This kind of has that whole vibe of a GameCube with the handle, where you're going to a friend's house to play some games, so you take this, and then you dock at this, and it's just you and a buddy playing some Smash. Two's all you need. Oh, and, yeah, I didn't even think about this. You can take the handle 
off the back, click it underneath the console, and then it gives it an angle for angled play. That's really clever. Also, two USB ports on the front if you want to add uh, extra players without GameCube controllers. You have the HDMI on the back, of course, if you want to turn it into a whole dock. Wow, we're doing really good here today for uh, not getting burned on Amazon accessories. I think I'm so used to getting weird stuff from Etsy that sometimes it's a bit of a hit or a miss. Oh, speaking of. I'm gonna leave that on the table for a second and uh, just give you guys a chance to guess what you think that is. You got your answers locked in down below? I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer look. Changing your guesses yet? How are we doing on guessing how this relates to the Nintendo Switch? Hold on, let me just open up my little uh, clicky here. It's a nice palate cleanser in between the other. I'm like a monkey at the zoo. All right, anyway, take out one of your games. Actually, if I can turn to my satisfy grip, I can actually yank out Mario Party from the back here. Put that in here, click it in. <laughs> If you can get it. And there you go. That is it. It is a leather carry case for one Switch game. You know, I'm laughing about it, but I do actually kind of like it. It's a fun way to take around your favorite game or an extra game if you're traveling somewhere. For me to see it, I had to type in weird Switch accessories into Amazon and scroll for about 40 pages. I don't think it's a hot seller. Maybe after this video, we'll all be carrying these around. Next time you see me at a convention, we'll high five them. It'll be our secret little thing that only we do. You know what would be a fun game? I put one real game in here and I need to stop it on the real game. Oh, I get three shots. So close. All right, hold on, hold on. I can get this. I can get this. I can get this. I will try again. What is this? I don't remember buying. Oh, I left that in the cart. I mean, okay, it's still cool. I didn't realize. My fridge was kind of a happy. Well, it kind of works. Is that upside down? I think it goes this way. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. It goes like that, and then like this maybe. I mean, I think that's right. I, it, I mean, we, we only have so much space I'm working with, you know? That's actually kind of cool. And you'd write like, I need eggs. It's like a thing. Or, you know what I would use it for? Oh, okay. Do it. Ooh. Big boy. We recently took a look at the Cracked. In the video, I had no idea what it was called. It's called Cracked, the uh, Nitro Deck. It essentially turns your Switch into a Steam Deck. I don't know if this came first, if this came second, but it's a cheapy version of that. I don't think it cost me very much, but it is translucent with lights. It really doesn't feel too bad. And it actually looks pretty cool. All right, so we don't need Joy-Cons anymore. We don't need the Satisfy Grip anymore. It's all about the Switch Controller Wired now. That can't be the name of it. Switch Controller Wired? How this didn't take off with a name like that? Couldn't tell you. Ooh, I hit on, it says paired, and all the neon lights came on right away. And I gotta be honest, looks sick. The only thing I don't like is for some reason they've done like these white bars either side. I really don't like them. Other than that, these sticks feel really good. They're big and they're weighted and they have a good snap to them. Like usually these neon lights can be a hit or a miss, but I really like the way these ones look. Looks cool from behind, looks like freaking Christmas. Amazon kind of rocks. I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna have to look up how much that was. Forty. $5 on sale from 50. I love when any of these Switch accessories you put a Switch into stands up on its own. That's an immediate brownie point from me. And even at this slanted angle too, oh, mwah, I could play games like this. I have no complaints. Well, since the Joy-Cons are already detached, no better time than to check this guy out. The only reason why I bought it, this is silly, but it has LED lights at the top of it and they light up depending on how charged it is. I kind of liked that. I thought it was neat. You click them in and now it's blue. I don't know if blue is good or blue is charging. But I have so many Joy-Cons. This guy's been sat behind me for about two years. I can guarantee you it's dead. Well, that's also blue. When fully charged, 
It'll go green. I guess I'll leave this off to the side charging for a second. While we're waiting for this to charge and go green, now's a good time to show you this. This is not supposed to be in this video, but I wanted to give the people at Skater XL a thank you for even sending it. They wanted me to do a short, but I got it today, so why not put it in the video? So often on this channel, we've taken a look at rare Nintendo Switches. I bought all the Switches at one point, and a whole rabbit hole we went down was the skinned Switches. Do they count towards anything. I personally don't, but a lot of people do, and I have one here now. So this is the Skater XL Switch. I never liked the way this looks. It reminds me of putting skins on old consoles back in the day, but the back is really cool. I like that they have a separate piece for the kickstand, and then the Joy-Cons even have a wrap. It's a nice blue, cloudy day. Thank you, Skater XL, for sending this over. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, back to Amazon. Oh, what the heck is this? This is easily the wackiest controller shape I've ever seen. What is this guy? Look how close my thumbs are. They can literally kiss while they're playing games. I do love the commitment to the shape. These horrible triggers up here. Oh, they're so bad. So if I was playing a shooter game, I'd have to reach my little thingy all the way up here to hit the fire button. And I mean button, not trigger, the fire button. Oh, this D- I didn't even notice how small this D-pad is. This has to be the world's smallest D-pad. I would never use it, but I do like it. It's silly and goofy. <gasps> no, one away again. Yes! I got the guy. I got the one guy. Thank you for existing. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have bought this. <sighs> Oh, I know why I bought mine. I was like, this looks so generic and boring. Mine was brown. brown. I kind of liked the way that it looked like a old Mario level. The reason why I liked it was because it fits four Joy-Con and it charges them while they're on the front of the dock. You can also slot in six games and then cover them up with an extra brick panel. And then you put your whole dock and your Switch behind it too. It's not so much weird or funny as it is. I thought some of you might legitimately want to check this out. I've been wanting to open this for forever. I bought this on Amazon months ago. I couldn't do a whole video on this guy, so it's just been sat there. I haven't opened it. What we have here is just a normal Switch controller or technical difficulties. Just a regular black controller. Nothing special about it. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, there's something really special about it. Yo, that's actually really cool. Yo, look at that though. How neat is that? If I turn my switch off, where's the off button? Didn't know that by now, it's been six years. Whoa, completely camouflaged. And then you plug it in, boom. That's really cool. Oh, it has different colors. I actually didn't know it had different colors. That one though, purple looks really cool. Oh, even that orangey brown. And then a deep like blood red. Wow, there's some cool stuff today. Well, we only have one thing left. So once upon a time in a video long, long ago, we took a look at an accessory that plugged onto the top of your Switch while it's docked and allowed you to change between the games at the touch of a button. The other one was very ugly, really stood out, intrusive on the console. This replaces the dock altogether. I think it looks quite nice, very sleek. And then you plug the fakie game card up here. Then in the back here, you add in all of your game cartridges. Oh, there's a little button at the back here. Let's try that. Yep, and you can rotate. Take that out, put in Mario Party. This is way better than the other one because of the convenience. It eliminates all of the bulk. It looks nicer and it's more streamlined. The only thing that would make it any better is, what is this? I was about to say a remote. Don't tell me this is a remote. I'll lose my, I'm not even, this isn't a joke. There's no shot. It's a remote! Well, I was literally about to say, the only thing that would make it any better is a remote that you could put so you wouldn't have to get up off the couch. <laughs> Did I scare you? Jump scare for Christmas? It's a different day. There's a few more things that showed up afterwards that I had bought for this video. They just weren't here on time. I got this, a switchblade. 
pretty cool, huh? Then there was this Orzilli headset, which I think was only about $10. I mostly thought it was neat because it's red and blue. Do I look like I'm about to go pro on League of Legends? Pentakill. That's gonna be very gifable if you don't edit that interesting, Zach. <laughs> Way better than I expected. And then this guy, I wanted to make this a big part of the video. It's like a big mystery box of everything you'll need for your Switch day one. I actually don't like this as much as the other one we took a look at. Looks like an even cheaper knockoff version and says H-Stop on here, which I don't really want to brand my display case. All right, then you got some Christmassy white silicone grips, a white carry case. This is all very Christmassy. Oh, with clear silicone grips for the Switch. A USB cord. Oh, what I'm guessing is going to be terrible earbuds. Oh no. Oh no. Then we got a stand. I mean, I guess that's cool. I mean, the Switch does have a stand on it. A couple of stylists. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I mean, I don't need this because I have my tactical, I'm gonna rob someone. Which place? If you wanted to be a little loser baby idiot, you could just put all your games in just a normal little folder. Is this everything I would need for a Switch? I don't know. I still feel like the best accessory is like a satisfy grip. No, I guess this is pretty useless actually, but thank you, Amazon. I appreciate it. <laughs> I had such a good day. My little freaking goblin brain, dude. Let me tell you, flick, spin, flick, spin, light up a controller, flick, spin. Honestly had such a nice time making this video. My brain has been so pleased. None of this was a sponsor. Amazon is not a sponsor. I'll leave affiliate links down below, which are my affiliate links. If you want to check out, grab anything, buy any of this, it will support me. Please check out and support the actual sponsor of the video first and foremost. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you want me to do more of these, please say yes. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.